cunt neighbor Canada. Oh, everybody's got one. I have a fucking cunt living right next door to me. All right. I'd like to fucking murder him. I, I can't tell you what rhymes with that. And something that is only three. I don't want to say that right. Hey, Billy Neat Freak. I, I am in Canada. Go Habs. Oh, yeah, Canadian fans. Hey, dude, how about, how about fucking the NHL coming back? Is it January 13th or January 16th? And one of the first games they have is the Flyers versus the Penguins. I can't fucking wait. I can't fucking wait. They get a triple header that day. I'll be watching every game. Um, I have a disrespectful cunty neighbor. Of course you do. You're up there where all Canadian fans are. Um, as far as I know, they are renting the house, and I believe there are two separate units in this house, upstairs and downstairs. I have only said hi to these people and don't care to go much further than that in this neighbor- neighborly relationship. That's always smart. Uh, we have weekly garbage and recycling pickup where I live, which is likely similar, similar to most, but this also means I have weekly trash pickup in my yard. These fucks next door choose to leave their garbage and recycle bins on their front steps, completely exposed to the wind, which inevitably bl- only blows one way into my yard. Their trash rarely makes it into these bins, uh, though as they believe their front yard, backyard, and driveway are the best place for their drive through greasy discards. You lost me there. Oh, they're just throwing shit into their yard. I continually pick up what lands in my yard and beyond. Clearly, I miss a fair amount that blows right through and eventually down to someone else's problem and eventually the water. We all know the story there. My question, do I approach these fucks and ask them to clean up their act? That may be an easy yes. So if it is a yes, what if it continues after I approach them, which is my presumption that it will? Yeah, I mean... I, I I don't know. I don't know what I would do. Like when you get to that level of fucking stupid, you know, and the fact that they're comfortable just living in their filth. Um, I'll finish reading this. I think I already have how I would handle this. Uh, if all else fails or if I choose to go this route in the first place, uh, send along some legal ideas to discreetly mess with them. Without much thought, I've come up with the obvious cranking music late at night, which will obviously mess with other neighbors, or taking all the garbage that ends up my lawn and throwing it in their backyard. But that will go nowhere and just repeat the cycle with no winners. Both ideas are very discreet. Not very discreet either. My patience only goes so far before it boils over, and I'm trying to work on that myself. But this is one where I don't think... If I don't think this one through, I may end up over there with an urge to yell. Uh, You know what it is. Uh, Thanks. Um, This is what I would do, okay? Those people are not raised, right? They're fucking animals. And the best possible scenario for those people, because they're walking out. It's not like they're setting the trash cans out there without a lid on, and then they go in and they sleep, and then they get up late and they don't see that it's blown around. You're saying that they walk past trash in their yard anyway, and they're fine with it. So best case scenario, those people at the very least are those asshole people that not when they rent something, they don't treat it with respect, and they actually, like, actually treat it with disrespect because it's not theirs. They beat on it, you know, like a rental car. Um, So if I was you, what I would do, I would just, I mean, I'm a fucking lunatic when it comes to like shit like that. So I would just, I would just pick it all up. I pick it all up. And if they ever saw me doing it, you know, if I'm in their yard and they're just walking by, whatever they say to me, that's how I would react. I would just laugh. And be like, you know, I was going to ask you to do this, but you walk by it every day. So I know it doesn't bother you, you know, and then maybe you call him an animal. I don't know. But then he just gets going like, I I, I don't like, I, I, there's no, the thing about when you're dealing with that level of, level of ignorance, there's no way to win. 
Those people win in life, but their punishment is their life. And you have to somehow, there, that's what it is. You just have to take peace in that. Okay? And if it really gets out of fucking control, um, I, I, just, I just can't rat people out. I would just say to them, like, listen, do you guys mind just picking up the yard a little bit? Because it's kind of blowing into my yard. And just see how they are. If they're cunts about it, then I would just be like, listen, I don't want to complain to your landlord. I don't want to be that guy, all right? But I also, I'm not your fucking cleaning lady here. Can you pick up your stuff? See, and it's, where's that going to go? Where does it go? What are they, are they going to somehow become like responsible, um, empathetic adults? I hate to say this, dude. You're living next to animals. They're fucking animals, okay? And you just have to, you know... I don't know. You got to have some sort of peace knowing that none of their dreams will come true. That's the best. Like the trash in the yard is like, it, it, it's a, it represents who they are as people. All right. Does that work? Ugh. I feel for you, man. I can tell you that I feel for you because that would fucking drive me up the wall. But what I would do is I would, I would just go into the yard and I would fucking make it spotless. I would just clean it up. I would just clean it up and I would just say like, listen, I'm sorry I'm over here in your yard and I, yeah, I get it. You guys don't mind living like animals, but I can't live like this. I can't live like this. I don't know who raised you, but I'm sorry for whatever happened to you during your childhood that you lived like this. I would just go like that, like positive, sarcastic. <laughs> and, you know, I'd call you a landlord, but I don't want to rat people out. So I'm just over here doing this. But I just want you to know that, like, I have no respect for you whatsoever. Have a nice day. Maybe just go like that. Just a big smile on your face. Like, I can't believe you're an adult. I mean, look at this. You know? You, you, you got, you know, there's the A brain, there's the B brain, and then there's the brain that you got. Right? I know you can't help this. And really take a look at this yard, because this is the best your life's ever going to be. But then, then what are they going to do? Start throwing punches, then you got to fight some fucking jerk off next door? I don't know. Uh, there's, there's, uh, there's a lot of mental energy to live next to somebody like that. Oh, God. I actually, you know, I, as much as I like this subject, but this actually, I, I kind of, I've lived next to people like, this is bringing up some bad fucking memories. I used to just, I would just handle this shit. Like when I lived with fucking messy roommates, I would just come home, you know, after being on the road. And I remember my two of my roommates were in a fight. You know, the silent, I took out the trash last time, you know, blah, 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 blah. This dumb, sh stupid fucking, it's about respect shit. And I came in and they were both out and I just cleaned up the whole fucking apartment. And I didn't say a fucking word. And then one of them finally said like, hey, did you clean up all in here? I was like, yeah, man, I can't, I can't fucking live like that. And then, then they sort of behaved like adults. But whenever I would go on the road... I'd come back and they were back to acting like fucking kids again. <laughs> but I never felt like, I remember a long time ago, I went to a, uh, a college football game and it was this weird sort of deal where it was my group of friends and this other group of friends. And one of our friends knew the other group and we were sort of like sharing the house and everybody was just fucking like animals. There was empty beer cans and just shit all over the fucking place. And I came in and I immediately, I just made the kitchen fucking spotless. And one of the other guys was just like, oh, you didn't have to fucking do that. I said, yeah, dude, I did. I'm an adult. I'm not fucking, I'm not going to try to make a sandwich when there's, there's like, you know, they had like, like, like a quarter of a beer left with cigarette butts in it. It's like, yeah, dude, I'm not living like an animal when I'm out here. All right. I was raised right. <laughs> And that was it. And then everybody just started throwing out their fucking empties. Maybe you can do that. Maybe you can try and lead by example. It, you know, just go over and clean up their fucking yard. When they come walking out, like, you know, what are you doing? Just, dude, dude I, I can't live like this. I can't live like this. This, this will affect, this affects your whole day. You're living in squalor. Maybe you go that route. Like, buddy, don't you want to win in life? This isn't how you win. You got to attack the fucking day. You don't just fucking th 
throw shit into the wind. Come on, man, you're better than this. <laughs> Try to amp them up. Go over there with a coach's hat and a whistle. I don't know what to tell you, dude, other than I feel for you. Uh, but, you know, maybe they won't be there forever. Uh, or maybe you can buy some trash lids, trash can lids. Maybe you can do that. Maybe you just do that. And then when they go to put out the trash, all you have to do, you walk over, you just put the fucking lids on their fucking trash cans. I don't know. Just, you know what? Why don't you just look at it like this? They're they're children. You live next to fucking children and you just have to be the adult. One of the worst things about being an adult is all the times you have to be a bigger person. And I think this is just one of those times. It is, you know, I wish it was like the movies where you could go over there like Steven Seagal and give him a fucking roundhouse. You know, if you knew how to do that shit or whatever, whatever fucking karate he knows, you know, but then you get sued. The next thing you know, you're renting, right? Well, I, I, this, I think this is the most effort I've ever put into a fucking answer. I'm trying to, I'm trying to give you as many options as possible, but like, I don't, I think I kind of, I like, I like to go on over. I like, think out of every, all the bullshit I just said, I think I like the going over there and just being positive. Come on, man. You can't live like this. Just do go that way. You're better than this shit. I mean, <laughs> don't you want to own a house someday? Don't you want don't you want to meet a beautiful woman and have her respect you and want, want to have kids with you, start a family? And wake up every day looking at her like, I can't believe I'm married to that. Don't, don't you want that? How the fuck are you going to get that living in a junkyard? Come on, man. Precious time is 